Do you want to know how to play more consistent golf? In this next video, I'm going to be talking about something that will make or break your golf swing. And it's all about the core driven golf swing. Want to know more? Keep watching. Hey, it's Troy from hittingitsolid.com here. Thanks for watching. So the core driven golf swing. So when I'm referring to the core in the golf swing, I'm talking about this area here, but I'm also talking about the rib cage around my sides as well. Now, often the difference between really good players and not so good of players is how this core remains in relation to the ball during your golf swing. So have a look at this. So I set up to a ball here I'm thinking about, talking about this core area here in the ribs. In really good players golf swings, when they swing, that distance from the ball remains the same during the backswing and the downswing. Now, I'm referring to this centre part of my core, so if I was to sort of label these one, two, three into three different sections, the first section stays a certain distance from the ball, Let's call that, say, three foot. As I make my back swing, it'll transfer to this section here, and that'll be three foot from the ball. Then it'll be back to three foot from the ball from the middle section. And then on the downswing, that right section will again be maintained three foot from the ball. And this is what great players do. With a lot of amateur, amateur golfers, as they make their backswing, you might be able to relate to this. As they go back, you get a lot taller. Instead of being three feet from the ball, all of a sudden you might be three and a half foot, four feet from the ball, whatever distance it might be. So you're getting further from the ball. When you get further from the ball, it makes it very difficult to be consistently striking that ball solid. And this doesn't matter this is the same for your irons as well as your driver, exactly the same. So one of the fundamental good keys is maintaining that distance. And there's two really important parts to this. The first one is our shoulder turn. Got to have shoulder turn. And the second part is your tilts. So let's talk about those a bit more. All right, to maintain that good distance from the golf ball in our core driven golf swing, we need shoulder turns. So we need to ensure those shoulders are turning and that you're not just sliding this way and sliding that way. All great players have a great shoulder turn. So I'm set up over one here. I need those shoulders to be turning. Absolutely vital. Now the other one is the tilt. And I think this is missed by the majority of players you might have seen your golf swing on video and tilt is a huge one if i'm set up over a ball here i'm tilted at a certain angle now if i make a back swing like i said earlier i get further away that tilt that i had has completely gone if i had a tilt if i'm doing this right as i make my back swing I've still got that nice bit of tilt in my shoulders there. If I'm doing it wrong, you can see there my tilt has completely changed. It's way out here somewhere. So absolutely vital. There's one thing you need to understand. You need to maintain that tilt in your backswing and in your downswing, absolute key. So if I set up to one here, now you, you might only have an issue with one, the backswing. Maybe even it's just the downswing. So you've only got to fix one part of it. So if I get up to one here, I want to be tilting there and tilting there. And a great way you can practice this, so jump out of your chair and do this with me. Grab a club, whoops, put it across your shoulders. I'll put a ball out there in front of me. Now, as you make your back swing, and just watch out for that mic, I want you to feel like the the butt end of that grip is pointing down towards the ball on the back swing. Then the down swing, we just want to reverse that position. Now, during your golf swing, you probably won't have your shoulders tilted that much, but that is certainly the feel I want you to have during your golf swing. So from this angle, at the golf ball, at the golf ball, if you can maintain a good shoulder turn and a great tilt, 
great things will happen in your golf swing. And when you do that, this core area here, it will maintain that same distance from the golf ball. When you do that, you can have a more predictable impact spot there. You won't end up impacting back here or there. It'll be more predictable with your irons and with your driver. Now, a really key one, I've spoken about that backswing. In the downswing, for you, you need to feel like this right rib, this right rib cage area here, you need to feel like it's getting closer down towards the golf ball. That's the feel I want you to have. And if you do that, you'll find this right arm, it will get shorter. It'll get closer to the ground. And then what that will encourage you to do is get a bit of bend in that right arm. And when you get that bend, you get that fantastic lag that we all want. And you also get that right wrist to bend back like this. So if that right rib cage feels like it's staying that three foot, it virtually just changes places. So we've got these different areas here of our core and they just change the relative distance they are from the golf ball. So it's a great feeling. So in the downswing, if this is your issue, feeling like that right rib is getting closer down towards the golf ball and you'll be able to get into this sort of position here. So another great feel to ensure you're maintaining that core distance from the golf ball is to feel that lead shoulder in the back swing, feel it lower to the ground, and then just reverse it in the downswing for your right shoulder. Feel it a bit lower to the ground. That'll get you in a great position to really smash and crush that golf ball. So let's hit a couple of shots and I'll show you a simple way you can practice. So this is important to do this. So watch this next part. All right, let's hit a couple of shots. And my feeling for this is I'm gonna feel my lead shoulder. I'm gonna feel it a bit lower on that back swing. And I'm gonna feel my trowel shoulder a bit lower on that down swing, keeping my core that same distance from that golf ball. That'll keep me in posture. I won't early extend and I should be able to hit some really solid golf shots. So do this with me, or at least practice that, jump out of your chair. I'll just hit a nice little short shot, but that's my feel to really hit a nice solid shot. So I'm gonna do a nice little slow swing. So that was my feel, feeling that lead shoulder low on the back swing, the trail shoulder lower on the down swing, keeping that core the same distance from that golf ball. That'll be a real game changer for your game. So if you think that will help you out, make sure you smash that like button. I really appreciate that. Now to help you out even further, I've got a video coming up that talks about the transition from backswing to downswing. And this will help you out even further to play better golf. So I'll see you on it. It's coming up.